Hi there, in today's video we're gonna talk about the difference between the cabin altitude and the airplane altitude, okay? This is the huge difference that uh, defines the aircraft that are pressurized to the aircraft that are not pressurized, okay? We're gonna jump into the simulator in a second and we're gonna do a practical example, but in order to make sure you understand, we need to think about that the aircraft that are unpressurized, that are not pressurized, they have this, the same the cabin altitude or the altitude of the pilots and the passengers are breathing inside the plane is the same as the aircraft altitude. Okay, so if an aircraft is flying at 8,000 feet, the aircraft is physically at 8,000 feet and the pilots and the, and, the, and, the, and the passengers are actually breathing an atmosphere at 8,000 feet, okay? As you can already imagine, this is not possible in an aircraft like an airliner that climbs very high, such as 30, 40,000 feet, because at 30, 40,000 feet, we cannot really survive for a long time. Okay, so then we came when there was a need for an aircraft to climb higher, we made these aircraft pressurized. What is the difference is that the, the, the aircraft that are pressurized, they have a cabin altitude, which is different compared to the flight altitude. Okay, the flight altitude is the physical altitude at which the aircraft is flying at, let's say, 20,000 feet, 30,000 feet, for example. And the cabin altitude is the altitude at which the passengers, the pilots and the crew in general are um, immersed in, okay? The environment that they are in is the cabin altitude. So let's say the aircraft is flying at 30,000 feet, but the cabin altitude is at 5,000 feet. So the, what does it mean is that the pilots and the crew and the people on board are actually feeling the environment, they are breathing an air like they were at 5,000 feet. Okay, so this is a huge difference because as you can see, there is a huge discrepancy, a huge difference in pressure, and that's called the differential pressure between the cabin altitude and the flight altitude. And this is a very big um, information that we need to, to take into consideration when flying an airliner, okay? So, without further ado, guys, let's jump into the simulator, we do the practical example. I'll show you where you can read the cabin altitude on the Boeing 737 and what consideration you should uh, uh, do in order to make sure that you take all of these informations under control throughout the flight, okay? If you want to support the channel, give it a like and consider subscribing. Go to paloclan.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a good day and let's jump into the simulator. You know, guys, flying an airline, an airline, an airline aircraft. Okay, you need to make sure. Most importantly, once you climb above 10,000 feet, that uh, now and then have a look on the uh, pressurization panel. Okay, because you want to make sure that the aircraft is actually pressurizing. Okay, especially these indications there is very good. The, the little needle in there, as you can see, says cabin alt. This one. And this is zero and this is five. That means that at the moment the cabin altitude is at 5,000 feet because the small needle in, is indicated 5,000 feet. So your target is to keep the cabin altitude below 10,000 feet, okay? Because uh, below 10,000 feet you is a breathable, you know, you can breathe the air there. When it's above 10,000 feet, it's not safe. All right, so if the cabin altitude is above 10,000 feet, then it's not safe for the people to stay there, okay? Especially for a long time. And since the cabin altitude is the altitude that you feel on board, okay, is 5,000 feet. If you look at the altitude that we are in, is 27,000 feet. So even though the aircraft is actually flying at 27,000 feet, the cabin altitude, the altitude at which you are experienced, you are in the in the, in the aircraft, okay, the, the altitude at which uh, you are in inside the plane is 5,000. So as you can see, there is 22,000 feet of difference, okay, and the pressure at 5,000 feet is a lot higher compared to the pressure that is at 27,000 feet, that's for sure, okay? So, this difference in pressure is this one. So, as you can see, on the outside scale, you've got diff press in PSI, okay? So, when the outside pressure and the inside pressure is the same, you've got zero. When the outside, the inside pressure is higher than outside pressure, you have a different pressure. And this is indicated by the big uh, indicator there. Okay, so at the moment we've got 7.2 PSI of difference. And the maximum PSI difference between the cabin, inside the cabin, outside the cabin is 9.1. So you need to make sure that the cabin altitude is below 10,000 feet and the differential pressure between the inside the cabin, outside the cabin, it's actually within the limits, it's below 9.1, okay? 
if you see the needle going to the amber area you should do something something that you can do for example is to descend because by descending you're actually uh, decreasing the difference between the outside and the side pressure the inside and outside pressure okay especially when you climb very high you want to make sure that uh, now and then you check your pressurization system okay and your uh, air conditioning as well